I'm going to share some ways you can um, drive sales with customer coverage because that's something, it's a tried and true PR tactic. We've all gotten customer stories for our companies and, and clients. One of the things I think that we are challenged with as an industry is we only think about securing that, and I, you know, I'm guilty too, guilty as charged. Um, it's something we need to start thinking about when we pitch the media, and we, we pitch a campaign, we're really only concerned with that single piece of coverage. And then we think our job ends there. We got the coverage, woohoo! I'm gonna get the next one. But what I wanna challenge you today is to think beyond um, that single piece of coverage. But I want you to think about it before you pitch the story, not after, right? Because you need to think, we talked earlier about campaigns. So you need to think about, if I have a customer who's willing to talk with the media, and I actually secure a piece of customer coverage, which I probably will, what is the campaign that goes along with that? So you'll see in this example here um, that when we think about the campaign, before you pitch the story, you need to think about the sales funnel. And you need to think about what content you already have within the organization. So this is, again, where collaboration comes in. Maybe marketing already has a glossy case study for that customer. Not that you're going to share it with the media, but it's part of your campaign. So if the content's lacking, you, know, you need to think through every phase of this. If the content's lacking, what do you need to create? And what do you already have? Can you create an ebook? Do you have the more detailed customer case study? You know, pitched a customer story and they wrote about Oshner Health um, and how they increased screenings for colorectal cancer by using Televox's technology. But because we thought about this before we pitched the story, we already had in our pocket um, a number of materials that could create this inbound marketing campaign. And so before we pitched it, we already had in our pocket the call to action. So in this case, the call to action was a white paper on how to build patient loyalty. And you'll notice since it's top of the funnel content, it's, only, it's educational. It's not hard sell collateral material. And the third point here is really important in the process because this is how you um, use your media to attract people to your website as you blog about it coverage, you blog about it. But the key here is you're not just blogging about your coverage. You're writing a blog post, you're linking to your coverage, you're giving more value add. So say someone read the case study, oh, that's pretty interesting. Well, here's some tips about how other people are also, you know, other organizations like whoever's reading this blog could also get similar results. And oh, and if you liked what you just read in this post, download this white paper on building patient loyalty. And that's where the magic happens. That's when, when they download that paper, that's when they're converted to the middle of the funnel. But before that, you have to promote that post like crazy. And so this is where the promotion piece comes in that we think we're good at, right? So the promotion in this instance is not the PR piece. The promotion in this instance is promoting the blog post. Your PR result has now brought someone, a web visitor to your site, read that post about the coverage that you secured, downloaded a white paper, and that's when the magic happens. That's when you can now begin tying PR, your PR results to sales because you've attracted a web visitor, they've downloaded the white paper, and now they're in the nurturing. But after they downloaded that white, the white paper, the nurturing content is, that's where the case study comes in. So we mentioned the case study earlier. Now the glossy case study with more detail. So we know that they are probably interested in a case study since that's what they read in the initial blog post. So you're giving them more content. This uh, late stage content, if they've moved to the bottom of the funnel, again, not everyone's going to move to the bottom of the funnel, but let's just say in this example, they do. Now we're asking them 10 questions that you should ask when you're looking for a provider. So it's still educational. And if, so now you're qualifying them. These are sales related questions. If they're interested in that, so these are all types of content that we're good at creating and can create, so we're still in the middle, but it's starting to blend into late. So recap quickly. Um, think beyond the initial piece of coverage. Think about the entire campaign. Um, once you secure coverage for your company, it, your job doesn't end there. That's where inbound marketing begins, and if we're going to do content marketing, that's where we really need to 
take our game up a notch. So blog about it and then promote that blog post like crazy. That's what's going to attract visitors to your site. Um, and that's going to give you the opportunity to convert them from a visitor into a lead and into a customer. You know that one piece of coverage you secured, that blog post? Yeah, that one. That now has tied PR to sales. So good job. <laughs>